Hello there. I'm John Ukewole, Nigeria's first Google Certified Innovator, and I will be answering this question. How do I give meaningful feedback to my students in Google Classroom, which relates to communication and assessment in Google Classroom? Feedback research at the University of Reading states that feedback can improve a student's confidence, self-awareness, and enthusiasm for learning. Hence, a good teacher recognizes the immense value of timely and effective feedback to his student and that it should be given throughout the learning process. Google Classroom has this capability built in. So join me as I take you through the process of giving meaningful feedback to your students in Google Classroom. Providing meaningful feedback in Google Classroom starts from an understanding of the functionalities embedded in Google Classroom for feedback. In this session, we'll consider three of such tools. And these are personalizing feedback with private comments, storing reusable comments in the comment banks, using suggesting mode in Google Docs to give real-time feedback. So let's get started. Generally, every student wants, appreciate, and improves on personalized feedback. And in this example, I will show you how. So we're going to give Katia uh, a comment that Katia will be able to see on her uh, private comment about the assignment. So that's how it works for a uh, private comment. So you could actually do more about this. In using the comment bank, you should have preloaded frequently used or reusable comments in it. In this example, a list of comments were put together for Katia. Yeah, so click the comment bar and then you can actually add the comments for Katia. So uh, I want to add a comment and I will say that uh, Katia should check uh, the, the grammar. So when I just uh, do a mouse over on this, it, it will bring copy to clipboard. And yes, I have it and I can click it. Um, additionally, of importance in the comment banks is the hash function, which gives you the access to stored and frequently used comments. So in, in this case, I want Katia to come up with. So I click on this. And then when I click the hash key, yeah, it brings out all the comments in there. So I can actually type the first letter of what I wanted to do. So P, cite your source. So, and I'll have that. So that's how uh, preloaded comments can actually be used in the comment bar. Suggesting mode empowers a teacher with the ability to give formative feedback during and after submitting an assignment. So this is in suggesting mode already. By default, a teacher, when you give an assignment to the student, you are in suggesting mode, and you can actually provide suggestions to the student outrightly. So in this case, I'll say this should be an introduction. Yes, so, uh, and that's, that's the suggestion we're giving to the student, and you'll be able to see it as a suggestion on his Google Docs page. In this session, we have shown how meaningful feedback is possible in Google Classroom through personalizing feedback with private comments, storing reusable comments in the comment box, and using suggestive mode in Google Docs to give real-time feedback. Feedback is the breakfast of champion, and every student can be raised as a champion using meaningful feedback. Till next time, keep raising champions using Google Classroom. Thank you for watching. Bye for now. <music>